So this surprise box showed up for us today at Retro Blasting HQ. I did not expect this, and what makes it more exciting is it says it's from Analog Toys, uh, a longtime friend of Retro Blasting and a, a good YouTube channel about retro toys out of Australia. And this box is out of Australia, and it was sent express, and it's actually fairly heavy. So um, I'm going to open this up and see what's in it. I have no idea what's inside this thing. What could possibly be sent from Australia from another YouTube content creator? Right. Oh, there's a note. <clears throat> Dear Retro Blasting, I first discovered your channel in early 2016 and I'm proud to say I have become a huge fan and have watched every single one of your videos. Thank you. Some of your more special videos like I Caramba, The Magnificent 17 and Introducing the Original 13 Joes are personal favorites of mine that I have watched numerous times. I like those as well. Thank you. Included in this box is a, varied assorted, uh, is a varied assortment of mostly vintage toys that I know will find a great home in the Retro Blasting Archive, and I'm hoping they may even appear in one of your videos one day. I also know that Michael's favorite superhero is Superman, so I even have a vintage Superman restoration challenge in here for you. I love the channel, I love everything you're about, and I eagerly await your next video. Enjoy the toys and all the best from down under Australia. Kind regards, Tony. Well, thank you, Tony, and we are, uh, as always, uh, always glad to, to see you and, and, and talk with you online. Um, you've been a friend of the channel for a long time, uh, and I really appreciate all the kind messages you've sent over the years. I was not expecting this box, so let's see what's in it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we have... A DVD of the collector's story of Action Man. That is very cool because I'm looking at the back and on the back I see my fabled Colditz escape playset. So this is going to be an awesome viewing because as you know, I love me some, uh, some Colditz and some British World War II exploits. Thank you. Oh my gosh. We have... A Cobra Fang helicopter that has seen better days, but it's got a lot of its pieces. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, well, well. This looks like... That's what I thought. <clears throat> this... <laughs> this is a Bo Duke Mego. However... Uh, oop, oop, that's also a common problem with Mego. However, the face sculpt of this Bo Duke indicates that it's probably Koi. I believe that was Koi or Vance, whichever one was the blonde haired one. I think this might actually be a Koi variant because I believe my Bo Luke Mego that I have, uh, which is also on the card, looks different from this one. So we'll have to do a comparison when we eventually do a Dukes of Hazard uh, feature video. <clears throat> well, well, well. Looks like we have Scooby Doo. Scooby-Doo figures. These are probably a little more modern, but my gosh, the entire cast is here, which is pretty neat. That's really cool, and they're all posable, and there's, there's Daphne, and that's actually really neat. And there's Velma. Wow, the whole gang. And this monster guy, 
guess he was a Scooby-Doo villain of some kind. I need to brush up on the, the show. I haven't watched it since I was a kid. Okay, what's this? This is Zarana from G.I. Joe. This is a fairly decent condition Zarana. And it looks like he also sent us a monkey wrench, which is great because I do not have a complete intact monkey wrench. So this guy is one of the few dreadnoughts I don't have in good condition, so this one is going to go right into the G.I. Joe display case. That's awesome. Thank you. And here we have a Cobra Snow Serpent with a number of his parts. It's always good to get a few more troops. And ha, <laughs> he sent along a uh, spirit. Looks like this spirit suffers from the same discoloration that we talked about in our video. But that's okay. It almost looks like he's wearing a, an army green shirt at this point. And he's, he's going to be a, he's going to be a cool addition to the, the Joe collection. And we have a lift ticket here from the Tomahawk Chopper. Some rusty screws. Some of them look fairly rough, but maybe we can get those screws out before they completely fall apart. Nothing worse than G.I. Joe's with rusty screws. <clears throat> and Slipstream, pilot of the G.I. Joe Conquest fighter plane. It's actually in really good shape. And what is the, oh, these are parts and pieces to a, what looks to be one of the G.I. Joe um, miniature battle environment. A small missile and a bipod uh, for one of the Joe rifles, which that's not a bad find. And what's in here? Nothing. Okay. All right. What is this? It's a very angry cowboy guy. Looks like a vintage Amigo or it's not Paladin. He looks too uh he looks too angry to be Paladin, though I guess you could make him Paladin. I'll have to figure out who he is and what he's all about. Good shape, though. A Superman suit for a vintage Mego Superman figure. I have a feeling this is what he was talking about in the letter. So I guess we'll see. Rusquatch, if you're watching this, I might need your help. Ah, it's an Action Man themed mug. That's awesome. That's cool. That's really cool. <clears throat> All right, what we have here, we have boxes for Action Jackson. Oh my gosh, these are, these are uh, unopened outfits for Action Jackson figures. Wow. Good Lord, these are, these are Mego originals. And they have not been opened. That is super cool. Wow. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I think this is the comic adaptation. Yeah, the hardback collected comic adaptation. 
Very, very nice. I have the paperback version of this, but I did not have the hardback version. Uh, that's very cool. It's also much nicer print than the, uh, the softback version I have. Same cover, but uh, this is a much nicer copy. Thank you. <clears throat> this is uh, getting intense. Okay, so this must be the Superman project he was referring to. Uh, there's a lot of broken, shattered plastic in here that I don't want to open up because it'll fall out onto the floor. Um, but shockingly, there's a Christopher Reeve head in here as well. That's the Christopher Reeve version of the Superman head for the Mego doll. Um, I never thought I would have one in person, but holy cow, that's... That's amazing. And then I suspect that this box right here might be what he's referring to. It's, there's another note here. <clears throat> oh no, this is different as well. This is an original Palatoy Action Man tank commander from 1978. Uh, please don't call him a doll. He doesn't like it. He's an action figure and he's 100% vintage. I can't rest at night knowing that the Retroblasting Archive doesn't have a minty example of a vintage action man. So here you go. I know he'll be happy in your care. Don't forget to check out his eagle eyes. Kind regards, Tony. Holy crap. Holy cow. He really does have crazy eyes. Look at that. Holy crap, that is unreal. He comes with his paperwork and everything. Wow, that is cool. Gotta find a way to straighten up his eyes because otherwise he's, he's gonna keep me up at night, but that is, that is awesome. Golly. All right, I'm going to put him safely back in the box for now until I figure out where I'm going to display him. That is awesome. I am just speechless. Boxed G.I. Joe Cobra surveillance port. I mean, this thing still has the box. I think all the pieces might even be in there. I won't open this up now, I'll open it up later, but I mean, look at that. Wow, this is unreal. Okay, we're down to the last thing in the box and I am, I'm kind of freaking out over this because uh, it's not, it's not uh, something that I'm necessarily aware of it's a it's a Marx toy but it's in the wheelhouse of things that I'm very much interested in this is a Sir Percival gold knight from the noble knight series I've always been fascinated by the Mego uh, knights uh, action figures from back in the day. So seeing this, I just have to know what this is all about. Holy cow. It looks like he's complete. And it looks like some of his gear has shattered. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, broken pieces in here. It's part of that whole brittle plastic thing that happens. Still, though, I'd love to figure out more about this guy so that I can maybe figure out a way to fix him up a little bit. I don't know if that would be possible. Um, I think there's even a, yeah, there's even a plastic there's 
There's gold plastic parts all over the place, even in the bottom of this bag. See, that's the problem with these, plastic, these, these plastics from back then. They didn't realize that they weren't future-proof. But just seeing this thing, it's, it's really, really fascinating to see this guy. Yeah, but it's a lot of shattered parts. Wow. See, this is why, this is why I think reproductions are so important at times. Because this toy is going to forever be just a guy with a bag of little gold shards next to him. And somebody will say, oh, it's all original. And I'm going to look at him and go, so you enjoy dust more than repairing and restoring. Uh, this guy to his former glory. I, I just can't get my head around that. Um, but this is a very, this is like an esoteric piece. This is an antique piece at this point. Um, I'm blown away, uh, Tony. I'm blown away by, by what you've sent. I don't have any words. Uh, so much variety here. And I mean, everything that came out of this box is so awesome. I, I don't even know where to start. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to figure out, you know, how to fast track a Dukes of Hazard video and get an Action Man collection going because now I don't have an excuse because I've got this awesome guy. Uh, Scooby Doo now looks like a possibility. Man. Okay. Well, this, this is. This is awesome. So thank you to Analog Toys for this amazing mystery box. And I uh, hope everybody enjoyed seeing, seeing this stuff. I, I'm, just, I'm just floored. Um, we're we're uh, going to be getting a few videos out of this. So uh, we will see you on the next video. Uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, hope everyone's having a good week. And we will uh, talk to you soon. See you on the next video, guys. Mm -hmm.